G'day guys, this is Ben from Vibrancy Design, just with a quick After Effects tutorial on creating a vignette. Okay, so as you can see, I've just got some pretty stock standard footage here, which I'm going to apply a vignette to. Now the way which I usually um, work through this is to create an adjustment layer with my vignette sitting on it. Alright, so just um, right-clicking in this empty space here, going down to Create New Adjustment Layer. Now with that selected, we can hit Return or Enter, and that will bring up that. We can just uh, rename it. I usually just go VG for Vignette. Alright, so now we're heading over to the Effects and Presets thing. If that's not here, you can uh, find that sitting right there, and just type Curves. Alright, now with that one still selected, double-click on here, and this will bring this up. Alright, now there's no exact science to this particular part, but uh, just grabbing the cursor in the middle here and dragging it down some. There we go. So you'll create a pretty horrible looking image, but uh, we're going to fix that one up in a second. Alright, so that's pretty much all you need to do with that. Okay, so now with this part still selected, going up to our uh, rectangle mask tool here, click and hold, select the ellipse tool, and once that's selected, then just simply double click, which will create a ring like that. Okay, the next thing to do, now this part should have already opened up for you, so just change this part from Add to Subtract, and that's going to invert the way the mask acts on this layer. Alright, so as you can see we have a fairly brilliant vignette, and we're finished. Wait a second, no, this isn't quite right, so let's go back and change this. Alright, so with this layer selected, hit MM, which will bring up all the properties for the mask which you just created. Okay, under Mask Feather, just click this and drag it to the right. Now there's no exact number here, but I usually find somewhere around 1 to 200 works well. Okay, and as you can see, we've got ourselves a fairly uh, soft vignette there. I might actually push that a bit further. Cool, so that's looking pretty good. And that's really all there is to it. As you can see, it just goes around. And the beauty of a vignette like this is that it's uh, completely editable. You can turn it on and off. And the way a vignette, I guess, makes things better is it provides a focus for the center of the, uh, the actual image. And probably the best ones will actually be the ones you don't notice at all. All right, and what's really great about having a, an adjustment layer like this is that you can actually stack other effects onto it. So, for example, if we wanted to create a depth of field effect, we can um, type in some kind of blur, apply that one, and we can um, put that one up like that, repeat edge pixels, and as you can see if you have a look in these corners here, we've actually got some blurring happening. Now there's a lot of motion blur just from the footage anyway, but you can uh, see how that part is creeping in there like that. Okay, so this is all pretty straightforward, and um, with a little bit of work you can actually get some nice results. This is um, one that I just created quickly just with a bit of colour correction and text, and you can make footage look quite cinematic. I hope you found this short tutorial useful. This is Ben from Vibrancy Design.